when you try to have a conversation with a toxic person, especially when they're narcissistic people, and you're trying to make a point or you're trying to discuss something or you're trying to agree upon something or something where there needs to be a back and forth conversation or discussion and they stonewall you have you had them shut you down and have you experienced what happens over and over and over again every time you try to have conversations like this with a toxic person or a narcissist let me know if you have in the comments we're going to talk about that right now my name is lise colucci and i'm here to help you understand things related to narcissism toxic relationships and how to heal from those relationships and situations in your life hit the thumbs up hit subscribe let's get started stonewalling is a tactic that narcissistic people and other toxic people use to shut down conversations to maintain control and to make sure that their agenda and their narrative is the one that is in the forefront there's the only thing worth talking about Okay, so what do they do when they stonewall? Stonewalling is similar to the silent treatment, except instead of going silent, they will communicate with you in a, in a really shut down and dismissive and toxic way and divert and deflect away from the topic at hand. It's a refusal to communicate, either all flat out refusal where it's uh, cut and dry and really short, and then they go from stonewalling into a silent treatment or about certain topics where they'll be having a normal conversation with you and you bring up a certain topic that needs discussion and then they will only give you like three seconds and boom, they divert off into some other way, highly avoidant, but in a way that is really shut down and you can't even approach the topic any longer because they've ended it. Let's talk about some ways in which stonewalling happens. Okay, so someone who is stonewalling you will be ignoring certain topics. They will be de deflecting and dismissive of certain topics. They won't engage in it. They will not engage on certain platforms. So say you are parallel parenting with a narcissistic or a toxic person and the communication is meant to stay on one platform, it's meant to be email or it's meant to be on a parenting app or something like that. And they want and will only communicate with you through text. They're not supposed to be texting you. It's already been determined. The boundaries already been set. So it's anything where they can push the boundaries because what they're trying to do is throw you off your game. They're trying to take control of the conversation, control of the topic, so they can spin the topic around their own narrative about the topic and then start coming after you about other topics, about other things. They're trying to divert you and basically spread a bunch of toxic and deflecting and distracting things so you lose focus on the topic that you're trying to talk about it is a form of gaslighting really another thing they'll do when they are stonewalling you is you'll bring something up and you'll say okay we need to talk about this particular thing and they will say there's nothing to say about that period basically that's it short cut and dry total wall goes up they won't talk about it there is no discussion end of discussion and they'll say that before the discussion is even started so it's not like it's heated and it's been going on for days right they won't even approach it they won't even talk about it so another thing they'll do when they're stonewalling is dismissal and subject changing and a lot of times they do that through word salad might bring up one topic and instead of topic talking about that topic at all they will use a bunch of word salad to flip your attention over here and start talking about something else. You go engaging in that and your topic is completely forgotten, left in the dust, right? And, and then you're off chasing their word salad and their nonsense. They're always trying to control the narrative. They're always trying to control the entire relationship and everyone around them so that everything goes their way, so that everything is coming back and the attention and the supply is going back to them. They aren't looking at situations the way you are. They're not looking at the big picture. They're not looking at what's best for other people, what's best for the relationship, what's best for you, what's best for them. They're only looking at what is best for them and how they can control it and manipulate it so that it goes like that, so that the whole world revolves around them. Another thing they might do if you bring up a topic that is 
a grievance or something that needs change or something that you're trying to discuss to work through in a relationship, if they're your parent, if they are co-parenting, if whatever it is, doesn't matter. And you're trying to work through a situation is instead of addressing the situation that, that you bring up, they will throw a bunch of grievances that they have against you. Basically, they will turn the finger and say, you, 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 and start pointing out things that are grievances that, that take your energy and focus to have to defend. And this is one way, especially when you have distance, when they can't get in your everyday life, that they can still maintain some control over you. A really passive aggressive way of stonewalling is the, the patronizing and rude comments that are sort of under the breath and subtle that the covert narcissist will use in order to shut down topics. This is all about shutting down the topic that you're bringing up or the topic at hand and deflecting and diverting so they can just walk away and not talk about the thing or not discuss the thing at all. Another sign or tactic or approach that they use is they will make you jump through hoops for every conversation. They will make every ounce of communication effort on your part just to get the basic answers, just to have basic information about things you need to discuss together if you have a need to be discussing things with them, right? And again, this is really like when you are low contact, this is really hard because this is your only communication with them. There's a lot of stonewalling that'll happen. There's a lot of deflection and a lot of avoidance of things that need to be discussed together. If you're living with it, it'll be intermittent and it'll be mixed in with other things. And so you might miss some of this and just think it's you being argumentative because that's what they do. They will make it look like you're arguing with them. They're doing this to avoid. They're doing this to avoid any accountability, any discussion, any working together, any real communication. So have you experienced stonewalling? What have you seen? How have you dealt with it? And, and how's it making you feel? Let me know in the comments, hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. If you need coaching, group coaching, peer support, or anything else, check out the information in the main description of the video. It's all there. You can reach me there as well. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.